Taylor. Oh, what a goal by Peter Taylor. An evening with Peter Taylor at the Essex Bowls Club in Westcliff for the Southend United Ex Players Association. That's the goal. Peter Taylor, so simple when it came. I'm from Southend. I was uh, playing in Southend's reserves as well as the first team. And Peter Taylor from Southend United in October 1973. It beautifully goes! Yo, yo, boys and girls, it's your boy, that Vasily, back with another video for the channel. I hope you're having a great day, wherever you are, wherever you're watching this video from. I hope you're having a smashing day, people. Welcome back to the channel, by the way. Welcome back to the action on this channel. And boys and girls, I know what you're thinking. Before we even get into this, where am I? Why am I not at Root Tool? And it's a simple thing, boys. The action is back on the show. But tonight, there is a massive event going on in Essex. And it is the Peter Taylor event. A man who has seen the game through all of these years. He's been in it. Player, manager, only born down the road in Rochford here in Essex. He's played for South and he was England manager. He has had a story tell career. I'm hoping to get him on this video tonight to see, to, for him to say some of his time as a manager, as a player. All of it, I want to hear it all. But boys, it is a special event tonight. We've got Glenn Pennypile. We've got former South and United players from his time here. It's going to be a big night. Let's get into the attack. Come on! Come on! Um, Andy, I'm Ian. Ian Medball. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, know, I, I, yeah, I managed to get my cousin's... Uh, my cousin's... <laughs> Just a, a few thank yous before I start. A round of applause for Andy and the work that Andy did today. Thank you This evening is about, and legend is often banded about in football, right? You know, this legend, that legend. But we have a bona fide legend with us tonight. And we're going to have a wonderful evening of football chat, reminiscing, nostalgia, with a true, not just a true South End legend, but a football legend. We're going to have bumps in the road, obviously. Um, but I think, you know, the, the stronger the club is, the more it stands in the game. Culminating him having the honour of managing the full England squad in November 2000, when he handed David Beckham his first ever captain's armband. He is still involved in the game to this very day, and I'm really looking forward to hearing some of the stories. Ladies and gentlemen, the legend that is, Mr Peter Taylor. Do a tune to start with, or what should we do? A bit of karaoke to start with? Teddy has a bit of karaoke, so we might get that later on. Have a sing song. Yeah, on that, turn it on, please. It's on off button, it's easy, mate. That's it, you know what? Right? Technical stuff. That's it, there. You get a certain age of technical stuff. Frank, what have you done with your nose? <laughs> you can't pick him his nose already. 
and I looked at Peter's CV and I looked at his playing career and I thought, well, that's two hours straight away. How am I going to fit everything else in? His managerial. And then I looked at the managerial career. It's a fucking mini series. <laughs> Honestly, we need to get on the Netflix. We're missing something here. We need to get on. Because Pete has managed 75 clubs. He's the, he's the managerial version of a groundhopper. But Peter tends to go over the ground and ends up being a manager. So lots of stories to come from that. But Peter, let's go right back to the start where it all began for you, Southend United. Let us know how it all happened, Peter. Well, as you said earlier, I was born down the road at Rochford. Uh, my mum was very famous in Rochford Hospital. She was delivering all the babies there all the time. Everybody knew her. Uh, I had all my mates in Rochford, um, drove them mad to go over Rochford Brett, which now got houses on it, um, to play football. Uh, also, anyway, early Shepherd watched the game, it was a Sunday game, uh, and I, he asked me to come down the next morning, and uh, that was it, and I saw him. And uh, so, I, I always felt that I wasn't Arthur Rhodes' man, you know, so it meant that other people would always get the nod before me. Uh, and I didn't, you know, I, Malcolm Allison signed me, he made me feel like the best player in the world. Every time I went into his office, he made me feel the best player. Without a doubt. I never got that feeling with Arthur. I think that Arthur knew I could play, but I think he'd always play his players before he would play me. So he didn't need much of an excuse to leave me out. So I was always in the team, out the team, whatever. So then all of a sudden I get a phone call from the club to say, Mr. Palace want to sign you. And, uh, I meet Malcolm Allison, who makes me feel, as I say, the best player in the flipping world. And he said to me, this is the sixth time I've tried to sign him. And I didn't have a clue. Didn't have a clue. Fortunately, but my name is Taylor, and it was Taters. It used to be Taters. That was my nickname all the time. And then all of a sudden, it changed from Taters to Spud. That was it. And uh, so people people um, suggested it was Spud because I had a funny shape. But no, that was it. And, and to be fair, even even to this day now, if I was doing up players I've played with, and it's Alice Fuddy, how are you doing? And all that. And uh, after he signed the commentary, and that started off his career. Uh, so he was an outstanding non league player at that time. In the league, uh, pre season 1970, um, we got this wonderful trip to Russia. And we was the first team to go to Russia and tour. There's other clubs that have gone there and played matches, but we were the first team to actually tour. And we got the first game against uh, a good team in the second division of their <coughs> standard. And uh, we went to the airport and uh, we went out and we got taken to the uh, runway. And there was a little plane there and a pilot with a leather hat on. And <laughs> we had to get in the plane and he started the propellers up and we took off. We never drank so much vodka in all that. <laughs> but I get a phone call from Southam United. And again, I said to somebody, look, I cannot turn this down. You know, I'm, I'm a Southam man through and through um, and I want to go and manage him. So I'm an head and wouldn't release me unless Southend paid him a fee. And Colin Murphy uh, said um, to Vic Jobson, uh, this is the first time I met Colin, uh, he said, uh, he said, Vic, he said, uh, that money you've got to give me for Stan Collymore, you can forget about that if you pay that for Peter to go and get out of Hendon. Now, Colin probably knew he wasn't going to get that fucking money, didn't he? <laughs> So anyway, so so that was it. So then it all went, it all went through. Admiral Soul, is it? Wait, No longer there. Right then, all. It is half time. We're calling it here at the event. And boys, I've well, I've been off for. Uh, Two, nearly two and a half weeks. It's really hitting me in this vlog. Thing. I never realised how much like it's getting around one side of this hall to the other. But boys, and go, it's been a fun event. It's been all right. We've met plenty of faces, and we've been even given a team sheet by Frankie Pugs. That. <laughs> You would have seen Andy just waving that. This is the best to get a photo. This is taking ten minutes. Like, Guys, come on. <laughs> Is it safe to say you're buzzing? Right yes, now? yes. <laughs> just, just, just saying. Just like. <laughs> <laughs>
This one here? Yeah. This was 1-1, one, one, this game. If I'm managing Palace, that was 1-1. One, one. But you weren't managing, you were playing. You were playing. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at the programme. All right, I've had one shout out. I'm very I don't remember the score of this one. No, you lost 2-0. Right. All right. Just have my brother in. Right. Uh, was the hardest job I've ever done. Uh, no, you were shouting things. Maybe it was death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do it. No, you can keep that. Not quite the same way. I'll take that home. Thank you all very much anyway. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Since that time there. Where did you think you, you, you did? the best that you possibly could. I know you're probably going to say every one then, because it was... No, no, the time. no, no, no. The, the most, um, for me, the, the most I'm proud of is definitely Hull City. And, and, and it's, it's not for, we got two promotions at Hull City, uh, but the club were 18th in League Two when uh, I joined with Colin Murphy and Steve Butler as, uh, as my coach. Played South End at Bruce Hall, got beat 3-0. I was ready to walk because it wasn't working then. So I was going to be another manager that, that it wasn't working at Hull. But in the end, I didn't, stay. Um, chairman was absolutely magnificent to say, look, we'll, we will get it right. It's going to take a bit of time, but we'll get it right. Anyway, in the end, we did get it right. We, we got two promotions. But just before I'm going to name the squad, which was a Thursday morning in a hotel in Leicester, um, I then said, well, I better bring up the experienced ones that I'm not going to play. To say to them, look, I'm going to go younger squad, Tony totally Friendly, just a one off game, bang, bang, bang. So I speak to David Seaman, Tony Adams, Paul Lintzies, they're all fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Uh, then I speak to Martin Keown, and he's got the radio. He has a really, really miserable bastard. I thought, oh, Christ, I can get a ride, it's my name. Anyway, I found out afterwards that all the Arsenal boys were on a coach going to Jordy Armstrong's funeral. And Tony Adams and David Seaman were my first ball of ball. They straight away told everybody that they're in the squad. And um, <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 my and Keown, the that's typical football band, but that's what, that's what we all miss, you know, when you're not, when you're not involved. But that's what it, they, they told me, I can't believe you're not in it, Martin, because we're all in it. <laughs> Six three seven, half grey and white. Six three seven. Chris Felix is a winner. I'm, I'm one. taking these on the next trust coach. This is official. <laughs> <laughs> to Peter Taylor himself. What an, I said right at the start, there are legends in football that get banded about right left and centre. But we have a bony fine legend amongst us. Not just the staff. Listening to me tonight, have a safe journey home, and the bar is still open. Thanks, Andy. Another incredible night. The third one I've attended, and the third one I've left speechless with joy and amazement. How much work had to go into getting this night organised? Yeah, I mean, it was good fun, wasn't it? Um, I think uh, yeah, we had everyone had a smile on their face, despite you know 
the result today not going too well. Um, but, uh, but you know, it was it was a lovely, lovely evening, and you know, lots of former players came yep. past and uh, all through. Um, so it's lovely to see the commitment and the togetherness of the team uh, and all, of all those people in the past, and uh, you know, get Kev along. Justin as well, and then one or two other consortium members. It's, I think it's we've, we've got something now. Um, we just need to do more of it, build on it, and uh, we've got a good future. Exactly that, Andy. Building within the community, a beautiful thing. For all these upcoming events, where can people find out where to tune in to you to find out where all these will come from? Yep, so we, we're on so all over social media, so Facebook, Instagram, all of that. Yeah. Um, just just give us a follow okay. and, and, and get involved. Uh, become a member of the Shrimpers Trust. If you're not in, then you'll get the regular quarterly yeah. newsletter. Yeah. Up the loose. Um, right then, all, I'm going to wrap up this video here. It was boiling now. I'm going to have to do this outside. But first and foremost, what an incredible event that was, run by Andy there, and to have people like Peter Taylor there, Glenn Penny father running it, Kevin Mayer, Justin Riz, all the ex-players that Peter has worked with. It was amazing. Now, I've learned a lot on that night. I'm going to try and hope you guys have learned as much as well. And it was also a bit funny to see Justin Reese not win anything on the lot, not on the lottery, on the raffle. Sorry, Justin. I had to put that in there. But I hope you've all enjoyed this video, people, as much as you can. My name's been Diversity. If you've enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff down below. And first and foremost, peace.